go. So my, my name is Philip Fink. I'm the Associate Laboratory Director for Nuclear Science and Technology at the Idaho National Lab. Our job here is to be the lead laboratory for development of nuclear energy in the United States and eventually uh, you know, in a large part of the world, we hope. And uh, we, we are really concentrating our research right now on, uh, on addressing the problems of uh, global warming on energy independence, also non-proliferation. We're doing this with a multiple-pronged approach where uh, first, uh, you know, we, we think that we need to combine four uh, technological approach to solve this problem. The first approach would be to support industry as much as possible in deploying existing uh, reactors. Uh, the second approach would be to uh, help existing reactors extend their lifetime from what is now maybe 60 years to maybe up to, uh, to 80 years. That is done by having a better science understanding of uh, the aging phenomena happening in materials and in fuels, for example. So we're doing the basic research to transform this one into engineering solutions for life extension. The third way we'd approach uh, global warming is to uh, help nuclear energy not only replace fossil energy in, energy in electricity production, but also to make it uh, useful for uh, uh, approaching our sector of the energy market, such as transportation and, um, and uh, process it for, for industry, which together account for almost uh, two-thirds of the energy consumption in the U.S. We are doing this by uh, developing a new technology called very high temperature reactors that produce heat uh, at 900 or 1,000 degrees C, that you can then use either as process heat in industry directly to crack ethylene, for example, but you could also use uh, to uh, produce uh, hydrogen that then could be used to either enrich, uh, uh, enrich uh, fossil source of energy, make them uh, less uh, carbon intensive, if you will, and also produce uh, liquid fuels that you could use directly in your car, or down the line, uh, maybe produce hydrogen that you can use in new generation cars. Um, w w when, we, when you think of these three uh, combined programs, we also have to deal with one of their consequences, which is the production of uh, n spent nuclear fuel. And we have a large program on uh, developing new technologies to address the accumulation spent nuclear fuel, which uh, have to be dealt both uh, as, as waste, but also potentially as a proliferation concern for the world. And this is done by, uh, by developing technologies that essentially will uh, first uh, reduce the amount of waste in, uh, in existing reactors, but second, to take that uh, produced spent nuclear fuel, extract from it the most uh, radiotoxic elements, and by a process, a simple physics process called transmutation, transform these long-lived radiotoxic elements into much shorter-lived ones, which then will decay very quickly to give us a, a waste form that has uh, uh, much reduced or, or almost no environmental consequences. Okay. Well, that's my two or three minutes. Thank you very much. Did I miss anything? <laughs>